Welcome to TradesViz. In this video, we will explore the different types of filters and toggles that you can use in the TradesViz dashboard. The two most commonly used filters are for selecting the trading accounts and the date range. You can select between multiple trading accounts by clicking on the accounts drop-down at the top right corner of your dashboard. For the date selection, there are pre-built ranges like year to date, last six months, last month, etc., and also the option to custom select the date range you want. Selecting the full range option will set the calendar to have the range from the date of the first execution to the last execution in the selected trading accounts. To make a custom selection, click on Custom Range after clicking on the calendar input. Then select your start date by selecting any date on the left side calendar and then select an end date by selecting a date on the right side calendar. Once selected, click on Apply and you will notice the dashboard refresh automatically. Note that there is no need to refresh your page for any change in filters. The filters we just explored are part of the global filters meaning they affect every chart, stat, and element you see on TradesViz. Many global filters and toggles are shown when you click on the filters button in your dashboard. We will explore each filter or toggle setting one by one. First, the trade filters show you an extensive list of trade attributes and ranges of attributes that you can filter the entire dashboard by. The way it works is that once you click on a filter, a filter tag is added to a section at the top of the dashboard. You can select multiple filters. In this example, we will just use the trade price filter for now. After making the selection, close the filter screen and then apply the changes by clicking on Apply. You will immediately see the updated values in all the tabs. Similarly, to clear the filter, you can click on Clear. Note that you can save these filters by clicking on the Save button and adding a name to the filter. In case you are used to applying a certain set of filters regularly, you can save the filter report and quickly access it via the Filter Sections Filter Groups drop-down. You can also delete the groups in the same drop-down. It is also possible to generate filter tags using the charts you see on TradesViz. Right-click on any chart's data point and the label corresponding to that data point will be added as a filter tag which you can apply globally. Next is the Chart History filter. Suppose you have a long history of trades, but you only want the charts to show the most recent 60, 90, or even 10 trading days, you can use this feature. Note that this applies only to the charts of TradesViz. Up next is the Asset Type filter which is pretty straightforward. TradesViz supports all asset types and it is also possible to split by options and combination of underlying plus option type trades with this dropdown. Next is the most commonly used toggle, the Net versus Gross PL. One of the first toggles that most users use is the Net or Gross PL. By default, TradesViz will show you your Gross PL, meaning the PL without deducting commissions or fees. If you want to view your PL inclusive of commissions and fees, choose the Net PL toggle and click on the check button at the top of the filters section. Next, it is possible to view the charts of TradesViz and the overall statistics in our value or points or ticks. Similar to the other toggles, once you select them, click on the check button at the top of the filters section or the apply filters button at the bottom to see the changes. There are more filters such as the position of the trade, duration, status of the trade, and result. All of these can be toggled between different states. To reset everything, click on the crossed filter button at the top of the filters section or click on the command icon at the top of your dashboard and click on clear filters. This clears all the global filters you have applied so far. Next, we have three input type filters where you can enter comma separated values. For example, if we want the dashboard to display only Apple stocks, we can enter Apple and apply the filter. You can also enter Apple comma Nvidia to filter for either Apple or Nvidia trades. Please make sure to enter a comma after your input text even if you enter just one value. The same concepts apply to tags and tag group filters. When you click on the tags input and start typing, you will see the list of tags you have previously entered along with the tag groups. If you want to filter for a trade with multiple tags, make sure to toggle the match all button. You may have to refresh the table by clicking sorting any column to get the updated filtered results. You can also use filtering in the table but that is limited to the data inside the table alone and we have explored table features in another dedicated video. These are all the global filters that are available on TradesViz. Now, we will quickly look at some of the chart-specific filters. For example, when you visit a chart-specific tab on TradesViz like the Profit and Loss tab, you will see a new drop-down appear at the top named Chart Settings. With this, you can control the data type and granularity of the charts displayed below. For example, we may want to view the time of day based chart in only one hour intervals. 
That can be done by selecting the 1 hour option under the time interval sub drop down under the chart settings drop down. Note that these settings change based on the chart tab that you are on. As another example, when you view the tree map charts, you will have options to explore different types of tree map visualizations. Once again, remember that these are specific to the charts only and do not affect any other data. This concludes all the filter and toggle features on the TradesViz dashboard. We highly suggest using these filters to get the exact analysis you want and to find trades efficiently. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at tradesviz.com. Thank you for watching this video.